Kidia is one of many postcard projects set to give the Saudi Arabia global appeal, complete with a theme park 2.5 times the size of Disney World. The Square KM project will include a Six Flags theme park, water parks, motorsports, hotels, and a packed calendar of events. At the time of writing, the exact opening date is unknown, but they expect the city to be done in 2027 and to replace the Jeddah Formula One circuit by then. Their contract will expire after that season. In this video, we'll talk about each part of the project and whether or not it's likely to be finished. We also talk about why Saudi Arabia is using these projects to show their muscles, or if they are doing the world a favor. Kidia is a new megacity located in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. It is being developed as part of the country's Vision 2030 plan, which aims to diversify the economy and reduce dependence on oil. The city, which is being built on an area of 334 square kilometers, will feature a wide range of amenities, including entertainment, sports, cultural and educational offerings, and it will be designed to be a tourist destination. One of the main goals of Kidia is to create a hub for entertainment and culture in the region. The city will feature a variety of theme parks, including a Six Flags Park, a water park, and an adventure park. It will also have a variety of cultural venues, such as a performing arts center, a film studio, and a museum. In addition, Kidia will be home to a variety of sports facilities, including a Formula E racetrack and a soccer stadium. Kidia is also designed to be a destination for education and research. It will feature a variety of educational institutions, including a university campus and a number of research centers focused on fields such as renewable energy and sustainability. The city is also designed to be sustainable and environmentally friendly. The development will be powered by renewable energy sources and will feature a variety of green spaces and parks. The city will also include a variety of transportation options, including a metro system and a network of bike paths. Overall, Kidia is an ambitious project that is expected to play a major role in the development of Saudi Arabia's economy and society. As a hub for entertainment, culture, sports and education, it will help to diversify the economy and create new job opportunities. At the same time, its focus on sustainability and environmentally friendly design will help to position Saudi Arabia as a leader in the region in terms of green development. Kidia is split into a number of different zones, including the resort core, which will host the aforementioned Six Flags Park, as well as four top hotels. The resort core will also has a water theme park, a speed park with a Formula One ready track, retail dining and entertainment space, and an as yet unnamed additional theme park. Notably, the resort core will also house the festival grounds. Described by Kidia as a zone dedicated to entertainment, the festival grounds will be home to a wide array of events, concerts, shows and festivals. It will be a new and trendy spot for local and international bands to perform new material and mesmerize the crowd with their latest tunes, a place where families and friends can enjoy all kinds of festivals and create memorable moments to cherish for life, all whilst diving into our wide range of outdoor dining options for a culinary experience like never before. Six Flags Kidia covers 32 hectares and will have 28 rides and attractions and six distinct zones. The park will include the Falcon Flight, the world's longest, tallest and fastest coaster when it opens. It will comprise Steamtown, where the past and future collides, Twilight Gardens, home to a secret garden and a glowing enchanted forest, Discovery Springs, modeled after an ancient oasis, City Thrills, home to the signature ride of the entire park, the mysterious Valley of Fortune, and Grand Exposition, modeled after famed World Expos. At Kidia, the water theme park will be home to 23 rides and attractions, out of which seven will be world firsts. The park's theme and offerings have been designed, keeping in mind the kingdom's rich culture and heritage and the comfort of guests. It will be the only water theme park in the world that offers a mix of dry and wet rides, as well as state-of-the-art competition level facilities for those with a penchant for water sports. The speed park will be home to the FIA Grade 1 racetrack, the park will be a spot dedicated to motorsports fans, as well as visitors looking for adrenaline-fueled, action-packed activities. There will also be karting, driving experiences and passenger rides, along with a plethora of other activities. The resort core will also have a skate park, entertainment facilities, and up to four hotels according to plans. 
Recently, a pair of hotels have been pitched for the project, the Rock Hotel Kidia and Aqua Hotel Kidia. Back in 2019, Kidia's chief executive officer Mike Rioninga said the firm was in the middle of selecting five hotel chains to be part of the master plan. As a mixed-use district, the Kidia village will be a place to work, live, play and relax. It will be home to an array of sports and arts venues, as well as a host of residential, retail and workplace offerings, and shaded walkways will encourage guests and residents to experience what the vibrant zone has in store. The sports precinct will house a stadium, an arena, a multi-sports hall, a sports hub, an aquatic center, a female sports center, and a sports center for kids. Plans for Kidia also include a high street and outlet mall within Kidia Village, turning it into a prime retail spot. The Performing Arts Center will be a multi-use premium theater, the first of its kind in the kingdom, and will offer a range of activities from performing arts and educational programs to vocational training and resident artist programs. The arts complex will be home to a wide range of activities dedicated to all forms of art. From immersive art shows and concerts to fashion and pop-up events, the multi-purpose venue will be an artist's haven. It will be a place where we showcase the kingdom's rich culture and heritage and share our love for the arts with the world. For those looking to hone their artistic skills, there will be a variety of learning programs and opportunities in store. A grand mosque anchors one end of the city with a place for worship and community gathering. Retail service and dining options are delivered in a mixed-use, high-street setting with residences over shop fronts throughout the plan. A private school, a sports medicine hospital, and beautiful private villas along a biking walking path on the cliff's edge complete the composition. To the northwest of the resort core sits the Echo Core designed around a series of nature and wildlife encounters, an ecologically sensitive golf course, outdoor sporting adventures, and several unique hospitality offerings that take advantage of the picturesque desert environment. The Echo Core will facilitate the likes of mountain biking, hiking, climbing, ziplining, abseiling and camping. The Echo Core also plans a pair of resorts, including a luxury tent resort and an Echo Lodge resort. The Motion Core to the southeast of the Resort Core will be home to events, experiences and residential and hospitality offerings that are driven by the science and technology of people in motion. The Motion Core will also has a dedicated tech park, motion hub and motorsports business park. A race resort will include homes and club facilities along with a 15 km performance driving course, facilities for both on-road and off-road driving experiences. Driver education and destination motorsports events will be constructed within a landscape surrounded by a mountainside backdrop. A golf and residential neighborhood sits near the center of the property, where panoramic vistas of the project are available from an array of residential and resort offerings. An 18-hole golf course will have clubhouse facilities attached. Kidia promises, the course will be a platform for elite golfers to compete and for casual players to enjoy the sport. If you don't know how to swing, then say no more. We will teach you. Plans also include a luxurious resort hotel, spa and equestrian facilities, all accessed from villas, townhomes and private retreats. What do you think? Will this project ever be realized in time? Leave a comment and tell us what you think about the Kidia project in Riyadh. Also, We'd like to know if you have any questions or worries about the project and whether it can be done. The development of the city is a big and ambitious project, and we'd like to hear what our viewers think about it. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.